Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. This is Anthony Booker, and welcome to the Gathering Place Ministries. Today we're going to be talking about not under the law. Not under the law. It begins the reading of God's holy word. Romans 6, 14 says, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. The law of sin and death was created by the law of Moses. The law of sin worked in our flesh to fight against the law of God because our flesh could not keep it. For by the law is the knowledge of sin and the strength of sin was the law of Moses. But Jesus took sin strength away by nailing the law to the cross, therefore destroying sin in his body, which was made sin. He destroyed sin because the law couldn't accuse us anymore because it had been nailed for without the law, sin was dead and sin couldn't be magnified when there is no law. But now the law of the spirit of is love, which is given to us through the spirit of Christ. Romans seven, four says, wherefore, my brethren, ye also are become dead to the law by the body of Christ, that ye should be married to another, even to him who is raised from the dead, that we should bring forth fruit unto God. The grace of God gives us the strength to say no to sin. He gives us power over sin by what Christ has done. Satan used the law to accuse Old Testament saints before God. He went into heaven to accuse saints, but Jesus nailed the law to the cross and condemned sin in the veil of his flesh. So Satan can no longer use the law to condemn us by Jesus nailing what Satan used against us. Satan was cast out of heaven at the cross. Revelation 12 and 10 or 9 through 10 lets us know that Satan was cast out never to accuse Old Testament saints before God. Do you understand that he used the law to accuse saints before God? But now he no longer can have access into the heavens. The Bible says that he's the prince of the power of the air here, the first heaven. But he does not have power to go into the third heaven to accuse us. Why? Because Jesus is our intercessor. Jesus is the one standing at the right hand of God. He's sitting and ruling at the right hand of the Father. And Father, we thank you, O God, that we are not under the law. We are not under the dominion of the law. Sin shall not have dominion over us. We have power to say no to sin's desire to control our life. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, that we're walking in the spirit and not fulfilling the lust of the flesh. Father, we do pray that this goes across to the listeners hearing in the name of Jesus Christ, that they understand that they are not under the law, not under the dominion of the law, not under the demands of the law, that their flesh would be desirous to sin against you. But Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for the Holy Spirit on the inside of us, making intercession, O oh God, with groanings which cannot be uttered. And we bless you, we praise you in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Be blessed.